Hey everyone, welcome back to Sawdust and Circuits. Today, we're getting dusty, but in a good way. I wanted a cyclone dust separator for my small CNC, but I didn't want to spend big. So, I built my own using junk parts and a 3D printer. Let's dive in. At the heart of this project is a 3D printed cyclone chamber just like the ones that are used in Dyson vacuums. It creates a spinning airflow that flings all of the dust and debris to the outsides of the container and they fall into a bin. It's powered by a motor from an old handheld vacuum. These guys have decent suction and are very easy to repurpose. And for the dust bin, a screw lid food container, because why not? It's airtight, clear, and it's free if you raid your leftovers. The cyclone body prints whole, but then the motor and filter are stacked on top of it. I did this for many reasons, some of which are to upgrade later. I did draw the upper using a brushless motor, but I struggled to get enough suction. This handheld was $8 at my local Goodwill, so I thought, why not try it? I used self-tapping screws for most of the assembly. The lid adapter screws onto the food container and holds tight. The motor mounts directly to the top using this ring and the rubber that was on the motor. This aids in vibration and a seal, so why not use it? I added a foam filter to the top just in case little particulates make it through the cyclone. Here's where the magic happens. With the separator in line, almost all the dust ends up in the jar and not the motor. That's a win for tool longevity and my lungs. It's not industrial grade, but for a mini CNC or laser engraver, it's perfect. Plus it sounds like a little jet engine, so that's fun. Got any upgrade ideas or questions? Drop them in the comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and vacuum responsibly. See you next time.